Did you inquire into that? Yes, sir. We reviewed. Uh, what is the position? Post mortem, sir. No external injury was found. We called a uh, doctor who, who has done post mortem report. So, according to doctors, uh, cardio uh, pulmonary failure was reason. No, but several injuries have been noticed on his body. That is the case if I correctly remember. He has, he has suffered injury on his head sir. and then he has several sign of assault on his body. Certain marks of electrocution also. Yes. Electrocution also. Sir, back side jo hai, wo death uh, hone ke baad jo hai, gravitational force se jo blood jama hota hai, uske karan wo yellowish dikh raha tha, sir. Hamne doctor se is mamle mein uh, detail mein discussion bhi kiya. Nee, uska postmortem ka aapne dekha, CCTV ho gara? Jee, sir, CCTV footage bhi dekha hai, sir. It was conducted under the CCTV. Uh, Jee, sir, footage, uh, bibliography footage ke saath kiya gaya hai, sir. Kiya gaya hai? Jee, sir. Sir, ये human rights commission में भी matter है sir और judicial inquiry भी इसकी चल रही है जैसा custodial death में होता है sir old mark पैर पे कट के हैं एक eyes के पास evasion था judicial inquiry is going on जी sir who is conducting the inquiry sir some municipal judge I don't remember the name sir but it's in the progress है एक तो गवाहों का गवाही उनके यहाँ बचा हुआ है बात हुई थी हमारे ऑफिस से तो उसके बाद उनका report मिलेगा well, even assuming everything to be true, I'm asking this question. No, no, myself. then there is an another issue. No? If a judicial inquiry has already been instituted and that is going on, you should have disclosed that in your petition. That, that was not informal. It's in most, moreover, they, they refuse to register the FIR against the certain incidents. You, you are not understanding. A judicial inquiry is in accordance with the provisions of this ARPC. Millers. If that has already been instituted, then in that inquiry would only reveal, after taking a statement of all the witnesses, the <coughs> learned <coughs> magistrate shall record his opinion. But information in that regard was not brought to the notice of the petitioner. Not brought to the notice of the petitioner. Petitioner has not been called. Okay. How it can be? He is saying that witnesses have been examined? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. How many witnesses have been examined? Sir, I don't know the exact numbers, but I was informed that two gawa are bache hue hain us judicial inquiry mein jinke. Do you know some case number, etc.? Who has instructed you on this? Sir, my office staff has. Ask him what is the case number. Do they read aware of? Sir, the judicial inquiry number, sir. Yes, case number and then what is the present stage of that judicial inquiry i would have called for a report from the learned by state itself but he says that it is not within his knowledge in the knowledge of this petitioner sir we don't uh, get information from the uh, judge who is conducting the inquiry sir we just uh, no, they must have called you yes sir my because the incident took place in the jail, sir, he must have called the jail authorities. Must have called the jail authorities. Sir, sure, sir. Must have been recording the statement of the witnesses. SP office is not uh, under information of any of this. Has no information. Do one thing, find out from the jail superintendent. Sir. And if may you call upon your client, Pillars. ask her what is the present position of this inquiry. Because it would not be proper to pass order when the judicial inquiry is already going on. Okay. I will not even record his statement because that may prejudice the inquiry. Okay. First one to the last order. Do you have any report on this? Have you prepared any report? Yes, sir. We have submitted. I filed my counter-affidavit. You have filed this with counter-affidavit? My report, with all the reports, my lord. Court is finding that uh, cases of custodial death are increasing. This court is finding that uh, 
one after another every week i am finding one case or two case coming to me in which custodial death is being alleged and uh, i don't know what is the present position of inquiry but prima facie he had satisfied me that day showing several photographs of the deceased this may apparently those injuries may be noticed by anybody with naked eyes when did you join at this place at darbanga sir january this year sir january this year and this occurrence is of uh, june sir june sir. so it is during your period sir please give pursuant to the last order the district magistrate should name please rajiv roshan sir mr rajiv roshan and mr and mr swenso avkash kumar mr avkash kumar the superintendent of police darbanga are present Police stop. A counter affidavit has been filed. Police stop. Next, at this stage, it has been informed to this court by the district magistrate Darbanga that in this matter a judicial inquiry is going on by a learned judicial magistrate of the district court at Darbanga. Police stop. the superintendent of police has informed that in fact some of the witnesses have also been examined but he is not fully aware of the present stage of the said proceeding next in the aforementioned circumstance <coughs> this case is being adjourned to 16th of january 2023 please stop the petitioner shall file a supplementary affidavit stating the <coughs> present stage of the judicial inquiry next also call for a report from the district judge darbanga as regards the pending judicial inquiry and <coughs> stage of the same as also the time likely to be taken in conclusion thereof by the learned magistrate please stop list accordingly personal appearance of the district magistrate and the superintendent of police darbanga is dispensed with yes